I did mention uh, a couple of weeks ago when I was on uh, Up With Chris, I guess now it was a month ago, we were talking about poverty, and I made the point, which keeps coming up, of course, because I was both aware of what was happening and prescient, as I often am, that um, the Republicans were only using po the poor and poverty as some type of prop, and to the extent that they were, it was a prop cudgel. And as if Paul Ryan felt it was his number one job to make me look correct. And not just correct, but exquisitely correct. Paul Ryan yesterday in Ohio, trying to show how compassionate he is, how in touch with the poor he is, has his campaign stopped? I guess, uh, were they in Youngstown or were they on the way to Youngstown? As reported by CBS, he stopped at the Mahoning, Mahoning County St. Vincent de Paul Society. And, which is a charity in Ohio, a soup kitchen. And they decide to go in. Now, look, I'm not, I'm not a child. I understand that when politicians do anything, they're doing it for the photo opportunity. And the calculation they make is we get to spend a couple hours here. We'll get a couple of photos. Maybe we'll also, and you know, when I'm not at my most cynical, I think that they feel, well, we're going to turn the country's attention to this. You know, there was a time like a guy like Robert Kennedy took a uh, poverty tour, and actually went and learned things. Co-host Bobby Kennedy on Ring of Fire speaks about this, and as a child, he was there, and he still talks about to this day, 45 years later, what he learned on that tour. Compare and contrast to Paul Ryan showing up with his kids at this soup kitchen in Ohio. Unannounced, uninvited. So much so that the president of the society told the Washington Post, we're a faith-based organization. We are apolitical because the majority of our funding is from private donations. It's strictly in our bylaws not to do it. They showed up here. They did not have permission. They got one of the volunteers to open the doors. The photo op they did wasn't even accurate. Paul Ryan walks in, and you can watch this video in just a second. He walks in. He puts aprons on his kid and on himself. I guess it's no big deal, but he doesn't know that you actually tie them in the front because they're supposed to wrap around, whatever. Maybe this is the first time he put on an apron. You know, he's just used to wearing muscle shirts and working out. He looks around for a pan. He says, oh, I'll take this one. It was already cleaned. Sprayed some water on it and said, I'll let you guys dry it. In the words of the president of this charitable society, he just came in here to get his picture taken at the dining hall. He did nothing. He was there for 15 minutes. Just think for a moment, what's the lesson you're teaching your kids? I mean, honestly, like, aren't you embarrassed to show your kids this? Like, let me show you what poverty's all about. Go in, put the apron on, shoosh, 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 let's go. I would at least say to the kids, you know what? Stay in the bus, because they don't want to see, have you see how craven and despicable your dad can be at times. You know, even in the the even in pursuit of some higher goal or agenda. I'd be embarrassed. I would be literally embarrassed to have my kids see me do this. At least let them have the delusion of like dad's going into a charity. He's a great guy. And let them, at least in their imagination, they could never come up with that's how little effort you put into in that situation. Let them have the delusion at least. Watch this, uh, watch this tape and 
Tell me if you don't throw up a little bit in your mouth. I'm gonna water them. I'm gonna I'm gonna get them wet. And you guys got to dry them. You know, I spent a summer washing dishes. We had a Hobart that was just... You get calluses on your fingers because it's so hot. Oh, yeah, this one on. Hey, buddy. Is there a, uh, is there a brush? Oh, here we go. Oh, you just now. Scrub here. What's that? You want to use the little scrub? Hey, you got one. Oh, I got one of these. Yeah. This is my favorite part here because he's turning the pan away from the camera where he knows it is because. There's nothing on the pan. It's already been cleaned. So he's just like, oh, look at how dirty this is. I gotta wash this. And uh, don't forget, kids, gotta rinse the soap off. I don't know if the point is the kids have never washed the dish before or watched him, or he's just like, I'm teaching the kids how to wash a clean pan. Unbelievable. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray it. Make sure all the soap is Get it in the bottom one more time. I'm going to break these. Sam and Liza, go ahead and hold it. Don't drop it. I'm going to give you another one. Though the pictures taken shows Ryan apparently doing dishes, the food had already been served and everything had already been cleaned before he got there. Had they asked for permission, said again, the president of this charitable uh, organization, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have been granted. But I certainly wouldn't have let him wash clean pans and then take a picture. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable.